A group of pastors and Southeast Nebraska Community Action are pursuing the Richardson County House of Hope to provide faith-based, drug-free housing for people in the crisis of addiction. Jerry Ont, former pastor of the Barida United Methodist Church, said it's not a new idea. We have been praying about this for five years. <clears throat> five years ago when we tried this, all the doors got shut. This time went on around, all the doors are flying open. Sherry Huddleston of Senca said Richardson County had 19 homeless people at one point last winter and the Richardson County Jail is reporting an unparalleled census of jail inmates. The pressure on the new 24-bed facility is prompting county commissioners to hire an architect for jail expansion. Uh, when the people come out of that jail, though, uh, some of them, especially the ones that are compromised with drugs, uh, come out and have no place to go, they have no money, no transportation, and they go right back to the drug house that uh, they came from. The group has formed a nonprofit and established a board of directors hoping to secure resources for $300,000 a year to staff and maintain the House of Hope. Sheriff Hardesty said oftentimes people caught up in addiction need one more reason to stay sober than they had for using drugs. Tim Boatwright, pastor of Good News Assembly of God Church at Fall City, said faith can provide that one more reason. The only hope we have for helping people is the hope of Jesus Christ, helping them have strength day to day to stay off the drugs and alcohol. And so we're, we're, le we're, we're having a Christian based in that we, we want Christian directors, we want Christian uh, household living environment um, to give them support in their time of need. He said a faith community can provide a safety net for people worried about slipping. The House of Hope will have a zero-tolerance policy for drugs, but Sheriff Hardesty said effective rehabilitation oftentimes means effective response to relapse. It's a product of their environment. Mm -hmm. You know, they grew up in it or they're around it, all their family, their friends, or that's the people they associate with. That's why it's hard. That's why. It's because everything, everything in their life has to change. Mm -hmm. And then they have the addiction that they're fighting. And now they have nobody. The Board of Directors members are David Sickle, Jerry Durfelt, Gail Keller, Sarah Morris, Julie Bauman, Linda Santo, and Ashley Schramm. From Fall City, I'm Dan Swanson, News Channel, Nebraska.